Welcome to Dad Bob Fitness. My name is Krista Stacy, and if you're just watching this, hey. then oh, that's your that's your <laughs> spiel. In this video, <laughs> we're going to be talking about recovery and really making that a focus for you, even if you have a busy lifestyle. Welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. If we are just me, my name is David, and I want to help crazy busy dads and moms to build a physique. And if you want to maximize your muscle growth, strip the body fat, and transform your life while still leading a family, consider subscribing. So we have now covered two of what I would consider the big pillars, two of what I would consider the three big pillars in fitness, and that's training and nutrition. And now we're gonna be talking about recovery and how to make sure that you're making that a priority in your life. So, kick it off for us, my dearest. What is number one? Um, making sleep a priority. How many of us do that? It's hard, especially as a parent. <laughs> I almost heard crickets going, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good sleep, crickets. Oh. <laughs> I married him. Anyway, so one thing that we've had to do just to make sleep a priority because it's so important for muscle recovery, body recovery, weight loss for me right now is um, one thing we've we've sacrificed how much TV we watch at night. We used to watch a show at least every night. Oh, probably I love stay up too, Yeah, probably stay up too late, and we're like, you know what? We need to change this. So our goal is to get to bed between nine and ten each night. Um, a little earlier, wake up earlier, we feel a lot better, at least I do. And two, we've had to let go of the things that do need to get done. There's a lot of to-dos. Oh, I know you're feeling that as well, but we've had to just accept the fact that we can't get to everything within the day. And I know you know the feeling of leaving a room one minute later, walking back in, and it's an absolute disaster. That's the thing. So You don't want to see my sink right now. <laughs> All right, so number two is not just prioritizing sleep, but actually then enhancing your sleep. Because, I mean, if we are honest, we're never getting straight sleep. Those days are long gone. So in order to do that, we are trying to prioritize and make sure that we're getting at least seven hours of sleep a night. I used to get four to six hours of sleep, which was really bad, especially when I was dieting. I talked about that on a most recent video that I did. I'll link that up above so you can see how that actually really negatively impacted me. Um, the other thing you can do um, to enhance your sleep, like I said, go to bed between nine and 10 because that's when your hormone cycle starts and sleep does, getting the adequate amount of sleep does affect your hormones and hormones affect everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's so important. Um, and the other thing that we've tried to, I've been trying to get better at, which I'm not great at yet, is turning off well. your phone before, like an hour before you go to sleep. Um, and that helps your body shut down and be ready to, to get a better night's rest. You wanna avoid that blue light or go get those blue light filtering glasses. And I seriously have actually felt the impact of, like Krista said, I don't always do it well. We don't always do it well, but it definitely, I can feel it. The last one, do you wanna say it? Go ahead. Okay, is listening to your body. And now we've been talking about this a lot lately because she's been dieting, but this takes time. I'm still learning this, but to be able to know when you're just feeling lazy and tired and you really should do your hardcore workout, or when your body's actually telling you that you might be overtraining, you might be kind of pushing yourself into the ground, so to speak. And if you might need to take a day and do what? Walk instead of lift. Yeah. Like there have been times where my kids have, oh, it's been like every hour, someone's peeing, someone's crying, someone <laughs> wet their bed. <laughs> um, and or when wet I, our bed. Uh, that's the worst. <laughs> um, so that I'll wake up in the morning and be like, I, I'm not lifting, like I can't. I just can't. So I'll like do something light, like yoga or just have a recovery day. So listen to your body. And it takes time, again, like I said, I'm still still learning it, but you're gonna notice the cues, like are you getting aches and pains, consistently, always dealing with an injury, different things like that. I'll try and throw some resources for you guys down in the description down below as well. Would you drop down into the comments down below and let us know what other topics that you'd like to like us to cover. We'd love to do this again in the future for you at some point. And if you enjoyed that video, would you smash the like button as well? We would 
truly appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to make sure that you tap that notification bell as well so that you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. If you want a full routine workout, I've got that for you and it's actually downloadable as well. But I'll link the video right up either here, it might be in our faces, it might be right here. Or if you want another awesome video from the Dad Bod Fitness Library, click tap the screen right up around here somewhere. And as always, be intentional, bring the intensity, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Okay, bye. <laughs>